Let's take a problem on exponents. Suppose you take any particular number, let's say 729. Okay. Or you take something like 628. This is also one of the very common numbers. And you have to express this, express these numbers as a base and exponent form, right? So first is 729 and second is 625. Now, in the beginning, because you would not have much of an idea as to, you know, what numbers will this break through. So let's try with 729. What you do is you find out the prime factorization of these numbers. Now, because there's a nine in the end, so this cannot be an odd even number. So 2 can't fly in here. Let's uh, try 3. 2, 4, 3. Let's again try 3. 8, 1, 3. We know it's 27. 3 goes into 27 9 times. 3 goes into 9 3 times. 1. So how many 3's do I get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 729 can be written as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 3. Now in the previous video you learned that any number 10 to the power 2, let's say, meant 10 into 10. So the number of time a number is multiplied by itself is the power which comes. So this can be written as 3. And how many times is it multiplied? It is multiplied 6 times, so we can write this as 6. So we say 729 is equal to 3 to the power 6, where 3 is the base and 6 is the exponent. Let's try it out for 625. Let me use a different color here. Which one do you want? Let's use green. Again, the units place as 5, so this can only be divided by 5. So 1, 2, 5. 5, 25. I do this again by 5. I get 5 here. I do this at 5. I get 1 here. So 625 can also be written as 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. Or I can write 5 as the base in 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is the exponent. Where 5 is the base and 4 is the exponent. So basically this is the way you kind of simplify these exponents.